Grossing over $100 million, this romantic comedy drama film by seasoned director Rob Reiner was released on November 17, 1995. Between Fatal Attraction, Disclosure, Basic Instinct, and Romancing the Stone, Michael Douglas certainly has a history of becoming involved with unstable and dangerous women. So why don't you know it, when he finally does fall for a nice, grounded, and attractive woman, there's a hitch. He's also the ruler of the free world. Overtly penned by Aaron Sorkin, who was reportedly high on cocaine while writing the screenplay, the dialogue in this picture is furiously fast, sharp, intelligent, and often humorous. It's impossible not to compare this work with Sorkin's later television endeavor dealing with Washington politics, as this 114-minute picture effectively serves as a precursor of sorts to the West Wing. Notably, Martin Sheen, who would later lead all seven seasons of the four-time Emmy-winning drama, turns in a great supporting role here as Douglas's chief of staff in a very hectic White House. The Mile a Minute plot revolves around a playful scenario of a bachelor president attempting a courtship. The realistic execution of this what-if situation follows Annette Benning as a Washington lobbyist who finds her life turned upside down and thrust into the spotlight when she discovers the president fancies her, remarking on her initial hesitation to say yes to a date. Come on, Congress doesn't take this long. Witnessing the exciting and peculiar daily life of the president is always a fascinating subject, but the romantic story is what really drives this plot, making Douglas's adorable charm, infatuation, and frustration in certain scenes all the more important. I'm so glad you stopped by. I had such a good time last night. Oh, so did I. Um, it's just that I... You have 45 seconds to um, I have to deliver a luncheon speech at the governor's conference today. I'm sorry. Oh, no, 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 of course. Are you I... free for dinner tomorrow evening? Dinner? Casual, in the residence, without the United Nations. <laughs> My daughter will be there, so it may seem like the United well, Nations. No, I'd love to meet Lucy, I'm but... sure she'd love to meet you. Oh, I have one concern. This wouldn't have to do with the fact that one of us is president. <laughs> you know, you like to make jokes about this, but... I am I... not mocking you, honest. I'm just a guy asking a girl over for a meal. What, what's that? That's my ride. The chemistry he shares with Benning is convincing, flirtatious, and decidedly romantic. It doesn't hurt either that they share most of their scenes in some of the most lavishly decorated rooms of the impeccably replicated executive mansion. Backed by a wonderful score from Mark Shaman, this well-paced political-themed dramedy is anchored by wonderful performances from a great cast. That includes Michael J. Fox, Anna DeVere Smith, and Richard Dreyfuss. A film I can't help but re-watch at least once a year. It's Douglas's grand final monologue in front of the press corps that seals the deal where he showcases a tremendous amount of tenacity and vision we all hoped our real presidents had. Sorkin's idealistic treatment of the White House isn't for everyone, though. More than a few lines seem awfully rehearsed and unrealistic. But the president's hilarious attempts to order roses by himself, and Benning's girlfriend questioning why she'd ever turn down the president, saying, the man is the leader of the free world. Isn't it possible our standards are just a tad high? Prove that this movie is a funny, heartwarming gem of mid-90s cinema. The American President. Sorkin's Finest, a real delight. Now let's hear some of your thoughts from the YouTube comments. The Rate-O-Matic with our scores for the American President. A great and an awesome. All fans of the West Wing will definitely feel right at home with this fast and entertaining picture. You gave it an eight. Near flawless in its execution, I hesitate to give this film anything less than a strong nine. I love it. 